Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations, SRSG, and the Head United Nations Office for West Africa and the Sahel, Mr. Mohamed Saleh, has said the United Nations will support Nigerians in its 2023 elections. He reviewed this in his courtesy visit at the INEC National Headquarters in Abuja today. He said, Nigeria being the indicator and locomotive for West Africa, the peace, stability, and security in the region depends on Nigeria. Commending the INEC for their effort towards the upcoming elections and assured the United Nations will not desist to offer its support where needed. The survey, the Bureau des Nations Unies for l'Afrique de l'Ouest et le Sahel s'occupe de 15 pays de la CDAO plus la Mauritanie. As you know, the United Nations Office for West Africa covers uh, 15 countries, including uh, Mauritania. Et nous sommes arrivés ici à Abuja au moment où le Nigeria est face à un événement extrêmement important qui sont les élections qui vont avoir lieu en février 2023. So we are here at this uh, uh, time where uh, Nigeria is preparing itself to hold the elections um, the next year in 2023. Et comme vous le savez, l'indicateur principal Sinon, la locomotive au niveau de l'Afrique de l'Ouest, c'est d'abord le Nigeria. And as you know uh, very well, the indicator of the locomotive for West Africa in, in the region uh, West Africa is Nigeria. Et donc, pour nous, c'est la stabilité, la paix, l'ancrage démocratique au niveau de l'Afrique de l'Ouest dépend de ce qui se passe au Nigeria. So for us, the, the, the peace and the stability and security over in, in, in the region depends also on, on Nigeria. Et donc, le Nigeria a été toujours euh, le bon exemple. Nous sommes contents de constater que déjà les candidats pour les principaux partis sont déjà. So as Nigeria uh, has been always the, the good example, and uh, we are uh, we are happy to know and to hear that the uh, candidates have been already uh, selected. Les Nations Unies seront toujours à côté du, du Nigeria pour que cet événement puisse se passer dans les conditions les meilleures. So the UN, the United Nations overall, will be always uh, uh, supportive to Nigeria so that the elections will take place um, uh, peacefully. Et une fois de plus, nous vous encourageons, nous vous félicitons pour le travail extrêmement important que vous nécessitez de faire pour la réussite de ces élections. So we, we congratulate you and we support you again for the work being done and the work will be done in terms of preparing these uh, elections and the UN will be always supportive for Nigeria. Merci beaucoup pour cet accueil. However, INEC National Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubo assured the body will continue to do what is right on the basis of law and have the election choice made by Nigerians. He expressed Nigeria has 11 million voters among the 84 million registered voters in the region, adding Nigeria has the largest registered voters. He commended the UN representative, Mr. Mohamed Saleh, for his court services and also the United Nations Need Assessment Mission for their support towards the Nigerian 2023 general elections. We are aware of the strategic importance of Nigeria in our sub-region and also our responsibility in ensuring that there is electoral and democratic stability in the sub-region. As you rightly pointed out, there are 15 countries in the sub-region, even though your responsibilities also cover Mauritania. Uh, which is no longer part of um, ECOWAS, but there are 15 countries in the sub-region. In order to show the importance of Nigeria in the sub-region um, and in our democracy, as of today, we have 84 million registered voters. But Nigeria is one out of 15 countries in the sub-region. But the total number of registered voters in the other 14 countries put together is 73 million, meaning that Nigeria has 11 million more registered voters than the other countries in the sub-region put together. So each time Nigeria conducts a general election, it's like a general election in the whole of West Africa. 
Uh, so we appreciate um, the responsibility, the enormous responsibility the Commission discharges. Election is both national and international. Um, we have very good working relationship with our strategic partners and allies in the country. We work very closely with the political parties, with civil society organizations, with media, with the security agencies in the country. But at the same time, we also um, work closely with our friends in the international community, such as you know us. Uh, so whenever you uh, come on this kind of mission, we feel doubly encouraged to continue to do what we need to do for the peace and stability of our sub-region. So I want to assure you that we'll continue to do what is right on the basis of the law. The ultimate choice is going to be made by Nigerians. Uh, Nigerians will determine who becomes what in the 2023 general elections. And we'll continue to uphold the choice made by Nigerians. So I want to assure you that um, we leave no stone unturned in ensuring that our elections continue to get better and better and the democratic environment increasingly consolidated. We are also happy that on our invitation and working with the United Nations Office in Nigeria and the United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, we invited a United Nations Needs Assessment Mission ahead of the 2023 general election. And I'm glad that His Excellency, the Secretary General of the United Nations, accepted our invitation and not too long ago sent a needs assessment mission. And we're working with the UN in Nigeria and the UNDP um, to uh, implement aspects of the needs assessment mission agreed with the last NAM from the UN. I also want to thank you know us uh, because each time we conduct elections you send a team to monitor and observe um, our elections and I'm sure 2023 is not going to be different. Ojone Samson GTV Africa.